Welcome to the React Crash Course. React is a very popular JavaScript library for building user interfaces like this one you see right now in the web browser. React could be run in the web browser or on the server using Node.js or in mobile applications using React Native. In this crash course, I'll teach you key features of React like JS6, components, props, and state. In this crash course, I don't want to spend time on setup of the computer for development of the React applications, and that's why I decided to show you all examples in the web browser. And there is a service called Code Sandbox, and here you could create different sandboxes and the code online and see results online. Please navigate to codesandbox.io and click here Create Sandbox. And here on this page you'll see which types of sandboxes you could create. There are multiple official templates like React, Vanilla, Vue, Angular and so on and so forth. You could try many different frameworks and many different technologies. I recommend you to create an account here by going to Sign In. In such case you'll be able to store your sandboxes and to share them with others. And also you will be able to get them later on and make some edits if you want to do so. You could sign in with GitHub or sign in with Google. Let me sign in, I already have an account. I successfully logged in and now let's create a new sandbox using official template React. Please find it here in the list of official templates and simply click on it. You'll see that uh, some magic will happen, and in a moment you'll see that the React application will be created. Here is app.js file, here are other files like index.js, styles.css and package.json, and also it was started in the web browser. It means that just in a few clicks you are able to get running React application. Here above you'll see name of your application and you could always rename it. Let me rename it to React Crash Course, like that. Please notice that any sandbox that you create using free account is public and anyone in the world is able to find it and run same as you do. I'll keep this particular sandbox in my account and using this URL you see now on the screen, you are able to access final version of the React application that I'll create by the end of this crash course. But I highly recommend you to follow me along and go step by step along with me in order to understand all React concepts. Alright, so here on the left you see files in your project, there is public folder, with index.html file inside, there is src folder with some files like app.js, index.js and styles.css and there is package.json file. src folder actually contains all source files that are required for our React application. And at the moment there are only two JavaScript files and one style.css file. And that's how our application looks right now in the web browser and it contains one h1 html tag with text hello code sandbox here it is in the web browser and there is also h2 html tag with text start editing to see some magic happen and that's what we will start with right now and we could modify for example this text and add here a couple of exclamation marks like that and you'll see immediately results here in the web browser it means that uh, you don't even need to save particular files because this file is now unsaved, here you see this dot, but uh, in the web browser, here in this sandbox, you will see changes immediately. If you are happy with them, you could save them by pressing key combination on Mac command S on Windows Control S like that and file was just saved. Great. Now let me explain you first how our React application is actually rendered in the web browser. How those texts, hello code sandbox and this one are injected into the document object model in the web browser. Let's first have a look inside of the public folder at index.html file. Here it is. And inside of this index.html file, if you scroll a bit down, you'll find in the body section such HTML tag as div, and it has single attribute id, 
with value root. That's actually all contents of this index.html file. And basically here on the right we see exactly this index.html file. And React basically injects entire React application into this div with id root. If you try for example modify name of this id here, let's say changes like that and refresh web browser here, you'll get React error. Target container is not a DOM element. And there is an error in the index.js file here on the line 7. Let's go to index.js file and observe contents of it. Here in this file we import the strict mode from React, we import React DOM from React DOM, please ignore those lines for now, and also we import the app from app file, app.js file, that is located near index.js file. And here on the line 7, using React DOM render function call, we render our React application into the root element. And root element is particular HTML element that is found inside of the document using get element by id function call. And we are looking for particular HTML element by id root. And that's how our React application is actually injected into the document object model. It finds specific HTML element with id root. And I just removed such element with id root and now there is an element with id root too. And that's why now a React application is not able to be rendered inside of the DOM. And that's why we get here this error. Alright, let me go back to id root here and save changes and immediately you will see again our application here inside of the web page. 